In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to activate the Panopto tool in Canvas and how to use the Panopto recorder. To begin, we need to activate the tool. To activate the tool, we're going to click Settings. We're going to click on the tab that says Navigation. Panopto, if you haven't used it before, is going to be located in the lower half of these choices. So we're going to click on Panopto Recordings and we're going to drag it up to the top. All right. So now we want to scroll down and say Save. Once we do that, we're going to see that the Panopto Recordings tab has been activated in Canvas. So now we can go ahead and we can click the Panopto Recordings tab. This might take a second because it's actually creating a folder for your course. Um, now I already have some recordings in here. If this is the first time you're using Panopto, you might not see those recordings. So to get started actually doing a recording, you want to click the button that says Create. You want to click the option that says Record a New Session. Now if this is the first time that you're using Panopto um, from home, what you want to do is you want to click Download Panopto. This is going to do a quick download. Um, you're going to be asked to follow the prompts, and that is what's going to install the recorder on your computer. I'm going to demonstrate what that download is going to look like, but keep in mind, on your computer, it might look a little different. All right, so I'm going to begin by clicking Download Panopto. I'm going to say Save File. And I noticed that it's been downloaded to my download folder, so I'm going to click on my download folder, and I'm going to select Panopto. This is what the Panopto downloader looks like, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Basically, follow the prompts. I'm going to click Install. Panopto is going to do its little thing. and. I've now successfully downloaded Panopto. Now that we've successfully downloaded the recorder, I'll show you how to get started using it. So, with the recorder downloaded, I want to click on Create. I want to click Record a New Session. And this time, I'm going to click Open Panopto. It's going to ask, do I want to launch the application, which I do. So I want to say open link. And we're going to be brought to the Panopto recorder. For now, I'm going to click that I want my video off. OK, so that's going to get rid of the video feed. As I'm speaking, I want to make sure that Panopto is picking up what I'm saying. So you can see the audio bars are picking up my voice. A few other things to take note of. Um, for you, the folder should be the name of the course that you're recording to. So for right now, I'm recording to my teaching template course in Canvas. Uh, Panopto is going to automatically give a timestamp to this recording. If I wanted to give this recording a title, I would actually just uh, type over this. So I'm, I'll just call it title. Um, but obviously, you can call this anything you want to, right? So now I've given my recording a name. Quality, I would suggest leaving as standard. Um, we find that the standard quality is just fine. Now we have a couple of options down here. Capture PowerPoint is going to do just that. If I have Capture PowerPoint selected, uh, Panopto is going to be asking me if I want to open a presentation. Okay, so that's just going to be for if you're doing a straightforward, um, almost like a voiceover lecture of your PowerPoint slides. If I turn on the option to capture the main screen, what that's going to do is it's going to capture everything that I'm doing on my computer. So let's just say um, you wanted to demonstrate uh, what your syllabus looked like or uh, anything from like a Word document or an Excel file. You would keep capture main screen selected and it's going to capture anything that you do on your computer. But to just keep it simple for today, I'm going to uncheck Capture Main Screen, and we're going to take a look at how to do a, a recording of a PowerPoint. All right? So Capture PowerPoint is on. Panopto is asking me if I want to open a presentation, which I do. So I'm going to click Open Presentation. 
Here I have my PowerPoint called Welcome to PowerPoint. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to say Open. Now Panopto is going to ask me if I want to begin recording when the PowerPoint opens. So at this point, you really have to be ready to start your recording because as soon as I say yes, what's going to happen is it's going to open my PowerPoint to full screen and I'm going to be presenting and Panopto is going to be recording. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I click yes. It opens up PowerPoint. Panopto is now recording everything I'm saying, so I can go through my slides as I would in the classroom. You know, welcome to PowerPoint. Today we're going to take a look at what PowerPoint looks like. A design can help you get your point across, things like this. So as you can see, I'm advancing through my slides like I normally would, and Panopto is recording my voice. Okay? Now when you get to the end of the PowerPoint, or if you're ready to exit and stop your recording, you want to click Escape on your keyboard because you need to have access to your choices down here. This is my Panopto icon. So to stop my recording, because I'm now finished, I want to click my Panopto icon and click stop. That stops your recording. You're going to get the message that your recording has been completed. And what you want to do is you want to click done. Now, Panopto is going to be uploading that file to your course, okay? So you can actually see it's this top one here. It's going to tell me that it was a 45-minute recording. Um, it's going into my teaching template playground. I've called it title. So there's some information here. You really don't have to pay much attention to this, um, but it's going to tell you that it's in the processing mode, which means it's actively updating to my Canvas course. At this point, I can close my Panopto recorder, close everything that has to do with Panopto. You just don't want to shut your computer down because Panopto is doing some work in the background. Okay? So to make sure you are successful, you're going to still have Canvas open at this point. What you want to do is you want to click on the Panopto Recordings tab. That's going to refresh your page. And now what I'm going to see is my video is coming in um, to my Canvas course. Now the processing, you can see here I'm only at 1%. Um, it's publishing. It was a short video, but typically that process might take a few minutes depending on how long you've been recording for. Here we are and my video has finished processing. So at this point you might ask yourself what's a Panopto video going to look like to students if you've never seen one before. Okay, so um, here's my Panopto recordings tab. That's where I'm going to find this Panopto. So as a student, if I go ahead and I click on this recording, it's going to open up. And this is what a Panopto video looks like for your students. If they click play, I click yes. It opens up PowerPoint. I paused my video because I don't want you to hear my voice in both places. But as you could see, that was my voice over my PowerPoint. Um, Panopto is automatically going to timestamp and title your slides based on the title that you've given them. And that's pretty much what a Panopto recording is going to look like for one of your students.